Hello Port Coquitlam, this is Raquel coming to you virtually from my home to bring you 30 minute chair fitness level 1 workout. Before you participate, we encourage you to fill out the parking form online. This has to be filled once every 12 months to ensure that you are physically ready for the program. At any time, please modify according to your fitness level. Stay hydrated, stay safe, and have fun. All you need is a chair, and we are going to remain seated in the chair. Let's begin. Let's take four deep breaths. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Again, breathe in, nose. Exhale, mouth. Let's do two more. Exhale, mouth. One more. Exhale now. Let's draw shoulder to shoulders all the way to our ears and then relax. Again, draw the shoulders to the ears and relax. Two more. One more. Give me some big circles back with the shoulders. Try to use the chest and the back muscles. And three and four. Let's do four more. Big, big circles. Three more. Big, big circles. Two more. One more. Now give me big circles with the wrist. Other way, big circles with the wrist. Make a tight fist. Spread the fingers out. Tight fist. Spread the fingers out. Again, tight fist. Spread the fingers out. One more. Alright, I want you to shake your hands up. Alright, hands on your thighs. I want you to sit up tall. Lean forward from the hips, keeping your ears over your shoulders. And sit up tall again. Lean forward and come back. Take your time. Lean forward, try to feel the stretch in the lower back. We're warming up the lower back. One more. Lean. Now we're going to lean to one side. And you're going to stay on the, uh, the same side. Sit up tall. Lean on the same side, sit up tall. Try not to lean too much, that your foot or your bum is coming off the chair. Lean and sit up tall. Let's do the other side. Use your waist muscle and your back muscles to lean. And out. Stay on that same side. Okay, one more. Now, we're going to lean back a little bit and sit up tall. Again, lean back just a little bit and sit up tall. Two more. Sit up tall. One more. And sit up tall. All right. Now let's do some butt rolls. I want you to lift each butt cheek using your waist muscle. Yeah. And three. And four. Let's do four more. And three, and two, one more. All right, now let's begin to move our limbs. I want you to tap your toes right in front of you, extend your leg as far as you can go. Tap your toes, sitting up tall, and keep breathing. Four more, three more. Two more. One more. All right, give me some bicep curl. Bend your elbow, extend your arm. Bend your elbow, extend your arm. Bend and extend. Bend. We have four more. Bend. Three more. Two more. Yes. One more. Let's go back to the legs. Tap your heel. Take your time. Heel down. Remember, we are remaining seated throughout the class. Okay? Heel down. Let's go four more. And remember to modify according to your fitness level. Three more. Two more. Sit up tall. One more. Okay. All right. And then sit up tall. 
Now this time I want you to reach your arms forward, spreading out your fingers, make a fist and then bring your arms in, pushing your elbow towards the back. Reach forward, push your elbow towards the back. Reach forward and back. Six more. And five. Yes, spread out those fingers. Four. And three. And two. And one. All right, relax your arms. Tap your toes under the chair. If this is too much for you, just tap your toes down. Okay? Tap your toes down. Let's go four more each side. Three more. Two more. One more. All right, let's go back to the arms. Arms by your side, palms facing front. You're gonna raise your arms up as high as your shoulders can give you. Turn your palms down, push your arm all the way as far back as your arms can go. All the way up, palms up. All the way back, palms towards the back. Palms up, turn your palms down, push your arms back. Again, up and back. Let's go four more. If this is still challenging for you, try one arm at a time. Three more, yes. Two more. One more. All right, let's relax our arms, go back to the legs, tap your toes to the side, all alternating side. Try to reach your toes as far away as you can. If this one bothers your hip or your lower back, bring your legs a little closer to you. So let's go four more each side. Three more. Two more. Don't forget to breathe. And keep breathing. One more. All right, sit up tall. Okay, now I want you to reach out one arm and bring it in. Other arm. Keep going. We're going to do eight reps each side. Other side. Just try to think about lengthening the arm. Lengthening the arms to the side. Again, reach. Let's see if you're reaching for the fold. Okay, let's go four more. Three more. Lengthen the arms. Sitting up tall. Two more. Last one. Lengthen the arm. Other side. Let's go back to the feet now. Legs shoulder width apart. You're going to raise your heels and lift your toes. Warming up the calves and the shins. Lift and toes. Heels. And toes. Let's go four more. Three more. Two more. One more. And sit up tall. Now let's face one arm at a time, lengthening your spine at the same time. Reach as high as you can. Yes. Alternating the arm. Reach. Other side. Reach. Again, keep going. We're going to go for six more. And five more. Yeah. Four more each side. Keep going. Every time you raise it up, you're going to lengthen the spine. Yeah. And up. All right. Two more each side. This time we're going to add some breaths. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Again, inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Breathe in. slightly bent. Let's keep marching. Sitting up tall. All right, now let's march a little wider this time. A little narrower. On your toes. On your heels. And just keep marching. This time pushing your elbows to the side. Sitting up tall, and just your arms now, 
push your elbows to the side. Bring your arms back to the side. This time I want you to lengthen your arm. Lengthen your arm. Sitting up tall still. Now I want you to imagine you are holding on to a rope and start pulling the rope. Start pulling the rope. Yes. We're going to go for about 10 seconds more. Keep going. Keep breathing. Yes. Four, three, two, and one. Ah, oh, that's a good job. All right. One foot off the ground. Big circles with the toes. Big circles the other way. Other side. Big circles with the toes. Big circles the other way. Let's take four deep breaths again. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Again, breathe in. Exhale, mouth. Let's do two more. Exhale, mouth. One more. Exhale, mouth. All right. Let's begin our strength exercise. The first exercise will be a leg exercise. It's called the leg extensions. You're going to sit up tall, extend your leg out, extend the knees, and bring it back in. You lift your leg as high up as you're comfortable and sitting up tall. Let's go for eight reps. This is eight, seven, and you're going to keep breathing. Six, five. You can add some breathing with your exercise. Four. Inhale here. Exhale here. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. One. And then relax. If you find that you're getting lightheaded with the deep breathings, just breathe normally in and out from the nose. Ready? Let's do the other side. Extend your leg and lower down. Seven, six, five, four, three. Sit up tall. Try not to lean back when you get your legs up. If you tend to lean back, that means your legs are too high already. Two and one. All right. Now let's work on the back muscles. Bend your elbows, palms up. Make a gentle fist, thumbs out to the side. This is called shoulder external rotation. You're going to push the thumbs to the back and you're going to squeeze the back muscles. Those muscles are found on uh, the muscles close to the spine. So think about those muscles there. Ready? Squeeze the back muscles, push the thumbs to the back, and relax. Again, thumbs to the back, squeeze the back. Six more. Squeeze the back. Concentrate on squeezing the back. And five. And four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Now let's go back to the legs. We're going to work on the outer thighs and the hip muscles. Sit up tall. You're going to take a step out and you're going to bring the legs back in. Now make sure the leg stays about 90 degrees and you're not just tapping your toes out. Okay? Let's sit up tall. Ready? Stay on one side. Eight. And bring it in. Step up only as comfortable as you can. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, sit up tall, one, all right, let's switch, other side, eight, and as I do this, I can feel it on my hip, I can feel it on my outer thighs, I can feel it on my waist and my back muscles, out, and bring it in. Four more, three more, two more, okay, one more. All right, now we're 
body strengthen our shoulders. So I want you to imagine you have um, two, two milk jugs, one on each hand. And each milk jug will be about two liters or four liters, depending on how much you can lift. And I want you to imagine you have them on your hands. Two liters or four liters of milk jug on each hand. Ready? Keep your elbows slightly bent. Fill with milk. Ready? Let's begin. Extend your arms up and lower down. Raise the milk jugs with your shoulders. Yeah. And six. Yeah. Four liters on each arm is really heavy. Five. Four. And bring it down. Sit up tall. Three. And keep breathing. Two. And one. All right. Okay. Now let's go back to our leg muscles. So you're going to come closer to the edge of the chair if you haven't done so. Leg shoulder width apart and bring your feet closer to the chair. You can have your hands on the chair or hold on to your thighs. Just keep your ears over your shoulder. You're going to lean forward and just push the feet down. You're going to feel the muscles of your thighs tightening up. And then sit up tall. Ready? Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Lean forward. Push through the feet. Inhale again. Lean forward. Push the feet down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Inhale. Exhale. You have four more. Breathe in. Exhale. Three more. Exhale. Two more. Exhale, keep the spine tall. Keep pushing down, pushing down. Sit the floor, it's going to come down. One more. Exhale, push. All right, and then sit up tall again. Okay, I want you to just breathe in and out from the nose right now. Let's go back to our back muscles. Let's strengthen the back muscles. This time, I want you to keep your elbows bent. Get your elbows away from your body. Palms down. You're going to push the elbow back, you're going to squeeze the back muscles, and then relax. Stay sitting up tall, chest is lifted. Ready? Let's go for eight reps. Eight, and release. Seven, and release. Six, five, four, three, squeeze the back muscles. Two and one. All right, relax the arms. Okay, this time give me some big shoulder circles. Our shoulders must be very, very tired right now. And then give your arms a good shake. Okay, we have two more sets of exercises, two more legs, and two more arms. Okay, so now I want you to sit up tall. I want you to get one foot off the ground one foot off the ground, and that same hand that is holding on to the thigh, that hand is going to push down on your thighs, but don't bring the foot down. We're going to strengthen the abdominal muscles, strengthen the back muscles, as, as well as the leg muscles, isometrically. That means you are not moving. If this is too much for you, just keep your feet down on the ground. Shoulders are back and down, sit up tall. Ready? Let's get one foot off the ground, just a little bit. And then I want you to push your hands down to your thighs. And you're going to keep breathing. We're going to hold it for about 10 seconds. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Keep pushing the hand down. Keep holding the feet off the ground, the foot off the ground. And relax. All right? Let's switch to the other foot. Foot off the ground first. Hand on your thigh. Now I want you to press down against your thigh, but do not take the, do not bring the foot down. Keep breathing, almost there, just 10 seconds. Keep breathing. You're going to feel the abdominal muscles, the back muscles, and relax. All right, let's do the other foot again. Off the ground, hand on your thigh, push the hand down now, and keep the foot off the ground. Sit up tall, sit up tall, breathe. 
keep breathing. Yeah. You can also feel it on your thigh muscles. And relax. Last one on the other side. Foot off the ground. Hand on your thigh. Push your thigh down now while you hold the leg up. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Just 10 seconds. This is your last 10 seconds. Sit up tall. Breathe. It's an abdominal back exercise. And relax. Oh, that was hard. Okay. Now, I want you, we're going to go back to calf muscle and shins. Okay. We're going to strengthen those lower leg muscles this time. You're going to push through the ball of your foot, raise your heels off the ground, contract the calf muscles, and lower the heels down. Okay, let's go for eight and down, seven and down. Push the ball of the foot down, raise the heel up and down. Five, contract the calf muscles. Four, three, two and one all right this time we're going to strengthen the shins okay you're going to pull your toes up using your shin muscles and then lower the toes down carefully with your shins as well pull the toes up and lower down let's do six more up and lower down five more feel it on your shin and lower down Four more, and down. Three more, and down. Two more, and down. One more, and relax. Ah, okay, let's have one foot off the ground first. Big circles with the toes. Big circles the other way, just to relax the shin and the calves. Alright, let's do the other side. Big circles with the toes. Big circles the other way. Okay, one last exercise is the strengthening of our wrists. So, you're going to place the palms together, relax your shoulders, elbows stays down. You're going to push your hands against each other. We're going to hold this for about 10 seconds. And you're going to keep breathing. Ready? Hands together, push your hands against each other, keep breathing, relax your shoulders, keep breathing. Just 10 seconds, keep breathing. All right, arms down, I want you to shake it out. Okay, bring your hands together again, relax your shoulders, push the hands against, against each other, and breathe, keep breathing. This is an isometric strengthening of your wrist. Keep breathing and relax. Okay, this time give me a little bit of shoulder circles. All right, let's put our hands together again. Ready? Push your hands against each other. We have two more reps. This is the second to the last reps. And relax. Okay, shake your hands out. One last rep to go. Hands against each other, relax your shoulders, and keep breathing, push your hands against each other. There's no movement, but you can feel the wrist muscles strengthening. You can feel the forearms tightening, and relax. All right, shake your hands up. Wonderful, and our strength workout is done. Now we're gonna stretch. So, I want you to come close to the edge of the chair if you haven't done so. Let's extend one leg up, sit up tall. You're gonna lean forward from the hips and feel the stretch on your hamstrings. And try to breathe. This is one of the most important stretch, the hamstring stretch. And it stretches a lot of things. The back of your thighs, lower back, loosening up your knees. Let's do the other side. Heel down, sit up tall, lean forward from the hips. Sometimes, we, if we feel some knee pains, sometimes it's just because um, the muscles that surround your knees are really tight. And all you have to do is just to stretch it and loosen it up. Breathe. Alright, and then sit up tall. Okay, let's have one foot off the ground, big circles with your toes again. Big circles the other way. All right, other side. Big 
Big circles with the toes. Big circles the other way. Okay, now let's sit all the way back. We're going to stretch the glutes. So I want you to sit all the way back. You're going to bring one knee towards your chest and try to hold this. Right now we're holding for just about 15 seconds. Ideally, it's even better the longer you hold your stretch. All right, let's switch. Other leg, knee to chest. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. All right, and then relax, okay. We're gonna come close to the front of the chair, so you're gonna lean forward and slide the bone forward. I want you to sit on one corner, hold on to the back of the chair, and the outer leg, I want you to bring the knees down so that you can get a good stretch on the front thigh. And you're gonna sit up tall, breathe. Hold the stretch for about 15 to 30 seconds if you can, on your own, if you're doing your own stretches. The longer you hold your stretches, the better for you. All right, now I want you to put your foot down and then slide your foot as far as you can without lifting the heel up. You're gonna feel the stretch on your calf muscles this time. Breathe. switch other side. So you're going to sit on another corner, outer hold on to the back of the chair, outer leg slides towards the back with so that your knees can come down towards the floor and you're going to sit up tall. Down your back. 
Keep looking straight ahead. Feel the stretch of the tricep and breathe. And then relax. Other side, thumbs up, thumbs to shoulder, walk your fingers down. And relax. Let's take two more, four more breaths. Inhale. Exhale again. Inhale. Exhale, two more up. Exhale, last one up. Exhale. Thank you so much for joining me.